91 nominations in 19 categories, highlighting excellent contributions made by young people between the ages of 10 and 35, as well as youth groups and mentors. This was in focus at the National Youth Awards 2024 under the Ministry of Youth Development and National Service. Youth Development Minister Foster Cummings said young people must be supported to contribute in a way that would ensure nation building and sustainable development, and they should be acknowledged and celebrated for those contributions. He said the awards do just that, factoring in both formal and non formal learning. Nominees, it is inspiring to see that the efforts you have committed to have brought you here. Whether you work, your work involves converting crisis into opportunity, such as the threat of sargassum seaweed being researched for use in creating prosthetic legs for diabetic amputees, or supporting search and rescue efforts that reunite loved ones, or distributing eggs to those in need, visiting the elderly and senior citizens' home to bring them joy and laughter, your work is truly outstanding in every category of award, and today we recognize your efforts. In delivering the feature address, President Christine Kangaloo said all nominees embody youth excellence, as she pointed to the advantage of getting to that point. Your nomination is a fact that will live on long after this evening's ceremony is over, and whether you receive an award or not. Your nomination will give you the advantage of motivation. It will motivate you to continue doing good work and striving to accomplish great things. Your nomination will also give you the advantage of being a role model. The president said the nominations also prove that young people in the country can do anything they set their minds to, despite the disadvantages, one of which she pointed to as a high level of criticism. It is no honorable thing that our criticism and our cynicism have grown into that demeaning saying, Trinidad is not a real place. It can certainly sometimes feel as if we live in a society of non-believers and worse, of disbelievers. The advantage of that, the disadvantage of that kind of mindset is that if we sup for too long on the diet of negativity that it offers, we can all become jaded and broken. She said she has had her fair share of fighting negativity, from colorism to those who felt she wasn't good enough. President Kangaloo expressed confidence in what she called a high level of talent per capita in this country as she voiced a wish that a National Youth Awards would assist in curbing negative mindsets. In the Youth of the Year category, the Ages 10 to 17 award went to Brianna Harry Charan and for Ages 18 to 35, Dareem Jeffrey. Alicia Boucher, TV6 News.